Hello, and welcome to this how-to series for Psycho Experience Commerce. My name's Rob Earlham, and today we're going to be looking at how you can manage the different coupons that have been configured for your site. You can see I've loaded up the Commerce Business Tools here, and I'm going to jump straight into the Promotions section, which is also the same area where you manage your coupons. They exist, like promotions do, within a promotions book. The Habitat Promotion Book is the one that's assigned to the Habitat Master Catalog, so we're going to load that up. As you can see, you get the list of promotions at the bottom. And you can see that some of these promotions have the word coupon in the name. So let's take a look at one. This first coupon is called the $10 cart off coupon. Looking at the description, we can see it provides $10 off the cart value when the subtotal is over $50. And there's a coupon that needs to be applied as well. So let's look at how that's been configured. First, we can look at the qualifications section. As mentioned in the previous video, a qualification is an action that the customer has to perform in order to receive the benefit that's been applied. In this case, we can see the condition has been added where the user's cart has to be greater than or equal to $50. When that happens, they then receive the benefit specified here. In this case, it's $10 off the cart total. But if you look further down, you can see the public coupon section, and this has now been populated. What that means is, in order to enable this for the cart, the user has to enter that coupon as well. Purely meeting those qualifications isn't enough to receive the benefit. They have to match the qualifications and enter the coupon too. So let's take a look at another example. So I've returned to the promotion book now, and I'm going to add a new coupon to show you just how easy it is. We're going to use the action buttons on the right, and we're going to use the add link to create a new promotion. What we want to do is create a promotion where the user can enter a coupon value and then receive 30% off the value in their cart. So we're going to start by entering the name. And then we're going to give it a friendly display name. We're going to make it run from the start of December through to the end of January. And then we're going to start to enter some display text, which is using the business tools. The display cart text is what is displayed to the user in the shopping cart. Oh, and then we're going to populate the description as well. We can confirm that and see straight away that the promotion has been created. And it's still in the draft state because we haven't approved it yet. So let's load it up. We can see the summary and details panels contain the various pieces of text that we entered previously. So we're going to start by adding the coupon code. And we're going to use a public coupon code. You'll notice at the bottom, there are two different types of coupon codes you can create. A public coupon code is a single coupon code you give out to everyone. For example, for an end of year sale. Everyone uses the same code and gets the same discount. A private coupon code is different. A private coupon code allows you to generate a random series of coupons that you can give to individual users. And you can also include predetermined prefix and suffix string values. So this time we're going to add a public coupon. And we're going to call it Winter 2019. So now we've added our coupon. We're going to go back and add our qualification. And this one's going to be very simple. All the user needs to do to activate this coupon is make sure that the cart has some items. And there we go. As long as the cart has items in it, they will then receive this benefit. In this case, we're going to go with a cart subtotal specific percentage off. And we're going to set that percentage off to 30. I'm pretty happy with that. So let's go and request approval for it. And then we'll approve it as well. I'll move back to the promotion book. And there we have it. You can see our promotion listed. 
It has a status of approved and disabled value is set to false. Any customer who browses the site and uses the winter 2019 coupon code will get the discount. But there's a different type of coupons you can create with Sitequo Experience Commerce and they're private coupons. So let's take a look at one of them. We're going to create another promotion for our loyal customers. This involves us generating a series of coupon codes, which we're going to email out to them individually. So we'll start off once again using the action button on the right to add a new promotion. We'll give it a friendly display name. And we're going to make these valid from today until April next year. We're going to give them a little bit of time to use these coupons. We're going to set some display text. And we'll use the same value for the cart text. Finally, we'll add a description. Now we can confirm that. And if we move over to the second page, we can see our loyalty coupons listed. So let's load it up. That's similar to before. The summary and details panels contain the text we just entered. And I'm going to set this coupon up the same as the last one we did. So the qualification is purely going to check whether the user has some items in their basket. Then the benefit we're going to apply once more is a specific percentage off. This time is 25%. But what we're going to do differently this time is we're going to use the private coupon functionality at the bottom. So we're going to use the add private coupon button on the right hand side. That gives you the pop-up allowing you to enter the details for this coupon. You get the prefix field and this allows you to enter some data which will appear at the beginning of all the coupon codes. You also get some suffix data and that will appear at the end of all the coupons. And then you get a total field at the bottom specifying how many you want to generate. I'm going to enter a prefix of loyal because this is for all our loyal customers. And I'm going to add a suffix of 2018. Finally, in the total field, I'm going to generate 100 of these coupons. We then click the blue tick. And now when we scroll down, we can see the coupon section has been populated. We can click on this section. This allows us to view the details of this coupon. If we look in the summary and coupon details, we can see the various fields that we populated just before. And the allocations section at the bottom allows us to go and physically generate these coupons. We do that using the add action button on the right. So let's click that. And all we have to do is enter the amount we want to generate. So I want to generate all 100 now. So that's the amount we put in. We click OK and you'll see this little download link appear. This lets you download all these coupons in CSV format. So you can click here and the file will download. We can view that file. And you can see all the coupons have been generated. You have loyal for the prefix, some random characters in the middle and 2018 for the suffix. If we return back to the business tools, we can confirm this and you can see the allocation is now listed at the bottom, complete with the download link, allowing you to re-download those coupon codes in future if you need to. So the last thing we need to do to set all this up is to go back and approve it. So if we go back to the coupon itself, we can request approval. We can approve it. And now we can see its status is switched to approved. All those private coupons are now active and you can hand those out to your loyal customers, giving them 25% off when they shop with you again. Hopefully it has shown how easy it is for you to create and manage your coupons with Sitecore Experience Commerce. Don't forget to watch the rest of the series. Thanks.